let us talk about isabgul husk which is also known as isabgulla it's a medicine to cure many diseases it is a time tested remedy for constipation but it has also been used in number of stomach problems like irritable bowel syndrome uh, stool with mucus and <coughs> constipation now whenever we talk about isabgol we have a picture that isabgol is a remedy only for constipation but you will be surprised to know that isabgol has many other advantages to be named because it not only keeps your bowel regulate but also helps in prevent certain heart diseases also can reduce isabgol has been researched in many of the western countries and it were those who have came out with so many surprising benefits of isabgol isabgol has been grown in large quantity in india and its seed extract has been used as isabgol husk or sati sabgol research have been conducted all over the world and it was found that regular use of isabgol can reduce your blood cholesterol which is one of the major culprit for causing various heart diseases so when you use isabgol it not only relieves your constipation but it also benefits your blood cholesterol levels let us see how isabgol can prevent heart disease because heart disease and high blood pressure are the leading cause of premature deaths all over the world high cholesterol in the blood gets deposited in the blood vessels especially the blood vessels of the heart and can block the vessels leading to various heart diseases especially the myocardial infarction and angina pectoris now a <coughs> routine cholesterol limit the normal limit should be less than 200 mg per 100 ml of blood but in cholesterol there are two types one is the high density or good cholesterol and second is the low density or a bad cholesterol now low density cholesterol is no now what is the role of fibers in our diet it is, has been noted that those who are on vegetarian diet which contains more of fruits vegetables and fibers the risk of developing heart disease is comparatively low because they have less quantity of cholesterol in their blood isabgol husk is also one of the natural fiber which is derived from the seed husk of the plant and it forms a viscous gel when mixed with water as we have seen that isabgol consumption leads to lower blood cholesterol level it has a tremendous effect in prevention of heart diseases and it has been estimated that there is a 30% reduction in the risk of heart disease if somebody is using now the one issue with consumption of isabgol is that people find it difficult to gulp it down to consume or swallow it because the moment it comes in contact with water being hygroscopic it swells and becomes sticky to the throat and doesn't get engulfed easily so this puts the patient off from taking isabgol in a regular basis because of this palatability issue so there are certain ways by which you can consume isabgol without difficulty or rather you can enjoy consuming isabgol because you have used it in such forms where its presence is not felt now here are some tips for consuming isabgol with pleasure and relishing it <coughs> add a spoonful of isabgol in a glass of milk and let it chill in the refrigerator then take a little amount of roux afza or roux syrup and you can eat it as faluda because when it goes into the milk it swells and gives you a taste like a faluda isabgol can also be added in a cup of milk or curds let it stand for half an hour and then add some sugar syrup and you can eat it rather than drinking it now it is a variety of flavored and let us see how isabgol can prevent heart disease because heart disease and high blood pressure are the leading cause of premature deaths all over the world high cholesterol in the blood gets deposited in the blood vessels especially the blood vessels of the heart and can block the vessels leading to various heart diseases especially the myocardial infarction and 
angina pectoris. Now, a <coughs> routine cholesterol limit, the normal limit, should be less than 200 milligram per 100 ml of blood. But in cholesterol, there are two types. One is the high density or good cholesterol and second is the low density or a bad cholesterol. Now, low density cholesterol is known strokes while a high density cholesterol that is good cholesterol helps in better digestion and prevents heart disease. But one cannot feel himself confident or assured that because his serum cholesterol levels are less than 200 or within the acceptable limits, he will not have a heart disease because it is not the cholesterol level which is important. It is the level of good cholesterol and the amount of bad cholesterol. So even if somebody has a total cholesterol level just 150, but his bad cholesterol is more than the acceptable limit, then he has more risk of heart disease.